Hey guys, welcome to the bonus reading for Gemini. Oh goodness. Cards are flying out already, guys. So this already looks like it's going to be an interesting reading. Um, so I hope you guys are having a good week so far. Sending you love and light always. As usual, this will be a general collective reading. Take what resonates and leave the rest because this will not be everyone's reading. But this could resonate with you if you have placements in Gemini or you're dealing with somebody that does have um, placements in their birth chart in Gemini. Cross watchers are welcome. Don't forget to read through the description box for watching this reading. I would appreciate that. Personal readings are closed. Um, but if don't forget to like and follow me on Instagram and Facebook if you're interested in collective readings. All right. Gemini, let's go ahead and get into your reading. What do my Geminis need to know, Spirit? What's the message for Gemini? Why did I just hear somebody's bossing up? I just heard Spirit just said somebody's bossing up. They've been taking some time to rest, to think, grow. Mm, somebody is uh, maybe trying to prepare for some type of new beginning. Yeah, somebody's trying to prepare for some type of new beginning in love. There's a love offer coming in here. Hmm. Expression of emotions, love offer. Yeah, I feel like this person was being a coward. Why do I feel like that? Somebody was being a coward. Or somebody was stuck in fear, anxiety, overthinking, but I don't feel like that's the case anymore. Somebody's what rushing in with some type of communication. Possible signs that I'm seeing here. Aries energy. I'm also seeing Pisces energy. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, fire energy, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, and a little bit of air energy, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. All right. So, yeah, I feel like somebody that you may have not been speaking to. Why do I, with the, with the, somebody may have had a dream. <coughs> somebody may have had a dream and that's maybe what's causing somebody to come in with some type of communication. But I see somebody wants a new beginning in love with somebody that they feel is very attractive. Somebody that's very, uh, very, pa they feel very passionate about somebody. Somebody that they're, the person that they want to bring in a love offer to is very confident. They have it going on right now. Okay. They're cute. They're confident. They're magnetic passionate yeah I see communication coming in an expression of emotions uh, this person may come in and say that they don't know if they have much to give you or they don't know if they can give you what it is that you deserve or live up to your expectations or your standards that's what I just heard this person's going to tell you that they just still feel like they don't have all the answers or they still are lacking clarity, but they want to maybe try to pursue this. And this is a person that it's like they still have some burdens or something in their life. Like they still have something that they're still, they still need to close out or release in their life that they're trying to leave behind. Yeah, they could still be given to some type of third party or something here that they haven't, they still haven't made a decision here, but they're still, they're rushing in with communication when they're still, ha aren't, they aren't even set on a decision yet. This person feels like they need to do right by you because they feel like, all right guys, so this is person feels that like they need to do right by you because they're getting some type of, they're getting a, I mean, a, a, a butt whooping. All right, let's say it like that by the divine. Yeah, their luck has not been on their side. Things have not been going right for this person. And they feel like it's because they need to make things right with you. They could have feel that like they wronged you in some way. I see that they feel that like they need to bring justice to a situation because things have not been going in their favor. And they feel like it's karma. Yeah. So I see that they're trying to come in and ask for a second chance. Or they've made a decision to try to 
they it's like they want to move away from some type of family situation or some type of financial obligation they're trying to move on from that like close or um remove themselves from some type of commitment pull their energy back from that i do see it is probably going to come to an end or it already has but there's still something unfinished about that situation i see them working up the courage to try to initiate this new passionate beginning here um because i see that So this person feels that they re they need to rebuild and they know that they need, to, they need to compromise with you or cooperate with you to be able to do that. They have regrets. They know they're going to have to come in and rebuild things because there was some type of tolerant moment that happened between you and this person. Yeah, there was some type of tolerant moment and they know that they're going to have to, like, you know, you guys would have to rebuild a connection or they would have to rebuild your trust. That's another thing. So they're trying to cut work with the courage here. So let's take a deeper look at what's going on here I'm trying to think what i want to um use to clarify hmm where's that deck okay jealousy just showed itself to me so this person could be getting jealous about something as well that they're seeing you're doing it's like it says i get jealous when i think of anyone else having you and stealing you away i told you this person hasn't even completely made up their mind what is it with this energy that keeps coming through um this week about people coming through or um yeah coming in to try to win you over or try to keep you because they feel like you're getting away from them or they don't want you, anybody else to have you but they're not 100 percent. they're not ready to give you what it is that you deserve but they just want to keep you selfishness that's what you call that all right so yeah, this person's kind of feeling like you guys keep pulling your energy back from this person. So they're kind of feeling like you're kind of getting away from them or they're, you're giving them mixed signals or if they're watching you, they're, they don't know what's really, you're maybe posting very vaguely like on your social media and they don't know what's going on with you. There is some type of trust, divine plan at play in this situation. Didn't I just say, yeah, you and this person have a telepathic connection. So this person could have maybe like up until this point felt you. Or you were communicating with them, even if you didn't really know you were. But I feel like that's changed here. Like, I feel like you've gone silent on this person because this person was choosing to continue to be a player or to distance themselves from you, keep an emotional distance. They were just, yeah, it's like they were refusing to give you what it is that you deserved or you desired from the connection. So you guys are pulling your energy back. You're like, I'm not going to give energy to a dead end situation or somebody that's not going to reciprocate to me this person may try to this person may think that you're trying to do something to trigger them this came through in somebody's reading too and i can't remember whose it was but yeah this person may think you're trying to trigger them or make them jealous or this person may try to do something to you to try to make you jealous this person is trying to fight their feelings for you but that doesn't ever work out guys I feel like the, it's like the more that they're, they're, the more they resist their feelings, the stronger their feelings get and the weaker they're getting. This person is like, sorry for something that they did to you. They know that they, they need to make it up to you because they were still wrong, but they're trying to say that it wasn't intentional. But I do see this person coming and trying to say like, I'm sorry, I never meant to hurt you. And when this person comes back, if you do decide to give them a chance, take it very slow with this person. Yeah, they're coming in, trying to win you over. They're trying to work up the courage. They're going to ask you out. I feel like this person wants to have a conversation with you. Um, but this person has like a family obligation. I saw that, but it was in reverse. The Ten of Pentacles was, was in reverse. So that could be coming to an end or it just has fallen apart. All right. It may be not together. They may not be with that person or the family may have been broken up. All right. But I still feel like they have some type of obligation to that, to their family or their ex. All right, but they can't get over you because you triggered a transformation in them and they are not able to move on from you. This person tried to like be like, you know, what? I'm never dating again. Like I'm this isn't for me, but it's like this person can't stop thinking about you. They're viewing you as the one that got away. It's like you were like their ideal person. But look at this, guys. We have the one that got away in reverse. I don't really read reversals, but spirits are trying to bring this to my attention right now. This person doesn't want you to be the one that got away. All right. That's why they're coming in with this apology. But this person is still in denial to some degree about their feelings for you. So that's why Spirit is saying you need to put your make yourself a priority. All right. This person is an escapist too, because this person thinks a lot. They they overthink or they, they don't like being up in their head. So they try to do things like drinking, partying, 
smoking, whatever it is to try to get their mind off things. I definitely see that here as well. So I am going to extend this reading, guys. I want to take a look to see what the future looks like um, for you and this person to see if this person is going to get it together and um, work up the courage and reach out to you. Now, and also remember, guys, you don't have to take this person back. You have free will. You don't have to take them back. All right. So where are we at time-wise? 10 minutes. So I want to take just a, get a few more cards. Tell me more about this, Spirit. Ugh. I will fight for us. Move on. Well, look, guys, this came out in reverse, too. Spirit, I, I flipped it over, but look, this person doesn't want you to move on. I don't really read. They had some money issues, but that's no longer an issue. Let's see. Spirit says that's no longer an issue, but let's enjoy our hat. So this person could have been in a marriage and it, it was not a happy situation. So what does this mean for my Gemini's? What does this mean for my Gemini's? I dream about you. I told you this person had a dream about you. Do not trust. Mm. So this person's falling in love with you, but this person has a hard time trusting their feelings or their emotions. Separation time apart. Yeah, this is somebody that you've been in separation with. You are the best thing to ever happen to me. Happily ever after. I talk about you constantly and think about you. Yeah, this person is like, cannot get over you. They're a little bit obsessed with you, all right? But this person's falling in love with you, but they don't trust their feelings. They're having dreams about you. They were in some type of situation that didn't turn out to be a happy, it's not a happy situation. It's not a happy home or whatever is happening here. So yeah, I do see that that has come to an end. They thought that they could be happy in another situation, but that didn't work out. All right, let me give you, for those of you that aren't going over to the extended reading, I want to get one more card of advice for you. What just fell over? Oh, a whole deck just fell off of the... Yeah, that was very strange, guys. A whole deck just fell off of my desk. And I'm not really sure how that happened. And it fell, like, so nicely, too. It, like, didn't splatter everywhere. That's strange. All right. <laughs> All right. One card for my Gemini's. We have growth. It says growth is a detox process. It is not a change in partners, but rather a change in perception that will deliver the love you seek. Interesting. Yeah, and it says something is off about this story. Get some more info before making a decision. Not saying it's bad, but you want to be certain. All right, so yeah, you guys may, even when this person comes in, you guys are gonna be like with the do not trust, you're probably not gonna trust this person. You're gonna be like, I don't know, they're bluffing or they're not be telling me the full truth. Um. But with this growth card coming out, maybe like you guys are going to be able to see right through this person when in the past you weren't able to see through them. But I'm also getting that for some of you, don't let the past, what has happened with this person, make you, don't let the past influence your per perception of the present. So this person comes back around, don't make sure that you're not trusting this person because you know, you really feel like something is off about them in the present. You got to make sure that you're not, I hope that this makes sense what I'm saying, guys. You guys may feel like you can't trust this person because of what they did to you in the past or what happened between the two of you in the past, but that may not be the present situation or the, it may not be the situation where it presents itself to you. So make sure that you're looking at the situation um, th for the reality of it. Because look at this, guys. We have this rose here. It's like, and she's got it over her eye. You know that rose colored glasses? So it could either be that um, you used to look at this person through rose colored glasses, but now you're seeing the seeing right through them but for some of you um listen to your intuition all right just listen to your intuition it will guide you it will tell you what you need to know about this person you will know if this person is being sincere or not okay 
Um, and like I said, you guys don't even have to give this person the time of day. You don't even have to, if they invite you out on a date, you don't even have to answer them. You don't even have to open the message. All right. So you can just delete them, block them, whatever you feel is best for you. All right. So like I said, I'm going to take this over to the extended reading. If you're interested in that, the link will be in the description box. Um, don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. If you could take something from this reading, personal readings are closed, but don't forget to like and follow me on Instagram and Facebook. If you're interested in collective readings. But other than that, guys, um, I hope you have a good rest of your day, and I will see you over in the extended reading. Bye.